Let me tell you a story about how AI learned to solve riddles. What is king minus man plus woman? The answer is queen. But how can a computer possibly know that? This is the history of AI series, a series where I demystify where this technology came from. This is part nine giving meaning to words. The old story was one hot encoding. You take a 50,000 word dictionary and each word is a vector of 50,000 zeros with a single one somewhere. This is technically awful. It's a huge waste of space and worse, the vectors for cat and kitten are as about mathematically different as cat and democracy. The machine has no idea how they're related. The plot changed in 2013 with word to vec from Google, however. It's built on a simple narrative. You shall know a word by the company it keeps. Words that appear in similar contexts like cat and and kitten, both appearing near milk or purred, should have similar numerical vectors. These vectors are called word embeddings. But how do you get them? This is where the story gets really clever. word to vec is a shallow neural network trained on a fake task. The only job is to get good at one of two things. Either predict a word from its neighbors, this is what we call continuous bag words or CBOW, or predict the neighbors from a word, skip grant. But, and this is the best part, you don't care about the network's prediction. The real prize is the network's hidden layer. You just steal its homework. The real prize is the learned weights from that hidden layer. Those become your word vectors. These embeddings are dense vectors that capture meaning. And in this new vector space, cat and kitten are now close neighbors. Repeat this process and you get a bunch of these vectors for all the words that you're interested in. And this space has structure, which brings us back to our riddle. The vector for king minus the vector for man plus the vector for woman literally equals a vector that is closest to queen. So what's the story here? AI could now understand semantic relationships. This was a huge leap, but it was still static. The word bank, which is river bank or money bank, had the same vector. We needed dynamic context. Next time, the story of the paper that changed everything for AI. Stay tuned for part 10.